What's going on guys? Chris Corey with Somifa back with another video. And in this video, I wanted to compare two keyboard slash mouse combos. The Sodeco Vejo Air Keyboard and the Re i8 Plus. But before I get started, I must say that this is a biased review. I've been using the Sodeco Air Keyboard for about six years now, and I must say that it is my favorite HTPC keyboard. So much so that when I saw that these were no longer being sold anywhere in North America, I decided to contact the manufacturer and see if they had some available so that I could become a retailer of these devices. I knew these things would not fly off shelves, but I figured there would be some fans out there who knew about these keyboards and I could make a few extra bucks. But I've only sold four in the last six months. So I decided to do a little research and see what keyboard people were using for their TV connected devices. And after doing some research, it seemed like the Re i8 Plus was the champ. It had over 2000 reviews and 4.1 stars on Amazon. So I had to find out what made this thing so special and how does it compare to the Sodeco Vejo Air Keyboard. So I decided to compare the two in four different categories, design and keyboard, cursor control, battery life and value. So let's see how the two compare. Design and keyboard. The Sodeco Air Keyboard has a great design that fits well in your hands and feels solid. The body is hard plastic and the buttons feel like rubber and have a nice click. It is very doable and I still use the one that I bought six years ago and it has many drops. It has all the media keys and some useful keys for opening up your default web browser and calculator. The buttons are spaced nicely which makes it easy to type by feel and not looking down. The only two gripes I have about this keyboard is the missing F keys and it's not backlit. The Re has both of these features, yet the Re doesn't feel as quality as the Air Keyboard. It is very light and the plastic body does not feel very sturdy. It's a lot thinner and because it doesn't have a natural fit in my hands, I have a little pain after long typing sessions. The buttons are a little bit mushy than clicky, but it does have all the media keys you need. So for keyboard and design, I have to call this one a tie. The Air Keyboard has more of a premium feel, but lacks the backlighting and the F keys, which the Re has. Next, cursor control. I use a Windows 10 HTPC and controlling the cursor is very important. The Re uses a trackpad and I must say it is very underwhelming. It is not so responsive at times and it can be very hard to control the cursor. Also with this type of design, you have to take your hands off of the keyboard in order to control the cursor when typing in different fields. And this can become a problem because you have to look down to readjust your hands on the keyboard which can be a hassle. This is not a problem with the Air Keyboard because it uses gyro sensors and motions of your hands to control the mouse and your hands never leave the keyboard. The left and right clicks are on top of the keyboard and they are easily accessed by my index fingers. But there is one caveat. There is a little learning curve and it takes a few days to get used to controlling the mouse. I think this is why the reviews for this device is not stellar and it's just unfair. Just imagine if bikes were invented today and put on Amazon. It probably would get bad reviews because it takes some time to learn how to ride them. But like bikes, once you learn how to use it, the air keyboard will come a very, very useful tool. So for cursor control, the wind goes to the air keyboard. Next, battery life. Neither of these keyboards have amazing battery life. They both last about two weeks and the Re has an internal battery that recharges by USB and the air keyboard uses double A batteries. This means I have to remember to always recharge the Re because once it's dead, I have to use another keyboard while it charges. What if my battery dies for good? This means that I have to buy another one. Did I mention I still use my six year old air keyboard? Yes, I have to replace a lot of batteries and this does drive the cost up, but I do have the peace of mind that I can quickly and easily get it back up and running just by replacing the battery. So this one is a tie. Next, value. I currently price the Air Keyboard at $19.99 plus shipping, a lot cheaper than the $70 I paid for it in 2012. The Re is currently priced at $21.95, roughly around the same price. But I feel that the Air Keyboard 
has more of a quality design and will last longer than the cheap built re. So I have to give the value win to the Air Keyboard. Winning two out of four categories, I have to give the Sodeco Air Keyboard the win. And it's still my favorite handheld HTPC keyboard. But the re is not bad and it will become a backup after my Logitech 400 plus, which is my workhorse keyboard. So I have to give the win to the Air Keyboard. If you're in the market for an HTPC keyboard, please check the description below and I'll give you a link to my Amazon store. Please leave some feedback and tell me how you feel about either one of these keyboards if you own it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more HTPC stuff. Peace.